How do you define paradise? For some, paradise is watching a game between two football teams. For others, paradise is waking up on a white sandy beach on a tropical island. In fact, that's likely the majority of people. And in this video, we are not far from that reality. Okay, we don't have white sandy beaches and it's not even tropical, but it is an island and a quite special one called Madeira. It's a place we have called paradise since we discovered it in 2019. And inside this paradise, there's another the paradise. A true paradise that feels like some kind of parallel universe where worries of life come to disappear. 50 hours and we're bringing all this. What's wrong with you? I have two things there. The rest is yours. Even though we're only in the paradise and not the paradise inside the paradise, it's raining. But that's okay because rain it's what makes life grow. I bet you don't have a waterfall like this next to your supermarket. <laughs> That's my shopping girl. Did you get some good stuff? Yes. Even driving to this paradise is a beautiful experience. There's nothing but stunning nature, steep cliffs and the sound of waves. See you there, Jon. Bye. Whoa! Ah, <laughs> oh, this never gets old. Stairways to paradise. <sighs> and now you carry the heavy stuff. Welcome to Mail and Jun. We're staying in the fake Tibby. Wow. We're back. Oh my god. Do you remember last time we were here? Yes, I do. We were sitting right here having sun sunset dinner when I spilled all our bread on the lawn. Amelia. So the number one thing we do every time we come here is to take off that shoe because this is a place where your feet are connected to the soil the way they should be. Like proper grounding. We're not going to use them until we leave. So this is our home for the next 50 hours. Immediately upon settling in, you are prescribed a pack of nature's chillaxatives. Whatever your worries are, they melt away with the blink of an eye. There are three homes here in actual paradise. The papaya tipi, the mango yurt and the fig tipi where we are staying. You have everything you need here with a fully equipped kitchen and a super cozy bedroom set up. I mean how cute is this? The attention to detail and lens to make it all appear as natural as possible is very impressive. And Lara loves it. You can even drink the water here as it's pure spring water. And even though it was raining, check out this spectacular view. This was a Christmas gift from Amelia. We want to spend more quality time together. We haven't even bothered to open it until today. We don't know the rules. This is the view. It's incredible. I don't know why I agreed to play uh, Yatsi with Amelia because she is infinitely lucky. Every time I look away. It's a hot four. Four. Ah. <laughs> One sixer. Because that's cheating. Yes! You're breaking the codex. I know because I'm actually cold. Oh. Whoa. You want me to hold the ladder? Jesus! You have to use. Yeah. I got it! I didn't even know papaya looked like this. I thought they were more like long. I think the, the commercial ones are, but the real ones are like that. I have to say, Jon, I'm very proud of you. Let's go to the social city, Jon. This is a common area where we will be doing ayahuasca ceremonies. No. <laughs> I'm vlogging on ayahuasca. And then when it's so sunny... Everything is open. Yeah. So the place is called Canto das Fonts, which means the fountain corner. I remember we were here where it was raining and I said it looked like me after having very spicy Indian. So there is an honesty bar here. And I know you are very honest, Jon. So the recipe says that it takes 50 milliliters and I think this cup identify as 25 milliliters. So I put in two. I am not sure if you're supposed to shake it actually. I have to say it's super good. It is, <laughs> it is but it, need, it needs rum. These are called Madeiran cherries. This is like candy. 
but without, you know, getting diabetes. I think it's funny how my idea of paradise has changed over the years, the older I become. Like now, paradise for me is a place like this where you are in one with nature, you have no worries, you have almost no Wi-Fi. But I remember like before we started traveling, paradise for me would be sitting on top of Marina Bay Sands sipping cocktails, you know. <laughs> it's interesting how it's so different from person to person and different from stage in your life. I am so jealous of Roberto who has this place to the point where I'd much rather have this little sacred haven than a big fancy mansion. And I really mean that. This is me and Amelia's biggest dream it's to have a place like this. Yeah. This is really as, as humanity and life was intended for us. So this is the toilet situation. So there's no flush, but when you open, it doesn't smell and the toilet paper is black. That means when you look down, you don't see anything. And there are a few meters down, so it won't splash. And then here you have the shower. You can even enjoy the view from here. <laughs> I'm like a fanboy. I mean, it's like I'm hanging out with my idol. That's how I feel when I'm here. Oh my God, what about men? Sensu. How, how perfect is this? There are actually people who come to Madeira just to stay at this place. And I don't blame them. It's pretty rare in life that I get this excited about stuff, like flying business class and staying at, at a place like this. That's, that gets me aroused. You know what else gets me aroused? our Madeira guide. The whole idea with this guide is to just make your trip as great as possible because it's so easy to go to restaurants, stay at hotels, do things that aren't good enough to actually do. So with our guide, you get access to all the things that we have approved. We've linked it down below and if you use our code Madeira, you can get 30% off the guide. And if you prefer vacations where everything is planned for you and showing up is all you need to do, then booking a luxury tour with a private guide and driver is the option for you. We've worked with Sacros Vacations for three years now and they are truly the go-to tour operator if you only want the best. We have done so many trips around Portugal with our good friend, guide and driver, Joel. And these have been some of the best experiences we have had out of our five years of non-stop traveling. This is our subscriber, Helena, who just booked her second trip with Sacros Vacations along with her three cousins who just can't get enough of Joel, but probably also the luxury hotels and saliva-inducing food. Our trusted itinerary guru Patricia will help you customize your dream trip whether it's around Portugal or Spain. So send her an email letting her know what you are looking for. I don't think she ever sleeps and if you let her know the stay class she sent you you will get 10% discount off your entire trip which is pretty cool since she already gets better prices than what you can find online. This is our fifth time staying in actual paradise and every time we talk about whether or not this is the greatest place we have ever stayed and we have stayed some pretty amazing places. In Australia, we stayed in this retro school bus. We also once stayed in Fred Flintstone's Hobbit House. We slept in this houseboat in the Algarve, a 300-year-old cave also here in Madeira. We've stayed at perhaps the most beautiful hotel in the world. What about this stunning tree house? A completely self-sustaining luxury pot in the Spanish desert, the most incredible villa in Thailand. We've done glamping in the Namibian wilderness and even had our own luxury suite on the most exclusive Halong Bay cruise. Despite some Serious competition, Canto das Fonts still takes the number one spot. Is this for me? Yes, it's for you, Yoon. I won the lottery of housewives. Cheers. I'm gonna write in my little appreciation book. What are you grateful for today, Amelia? A lot of things. And we have heating in our bed. <laughs> they literally have installed heating pads underneath the duvet. It's so nice. Probably.
good idea to put water in. It took me an hour. I'm so proud. It was a miracle I didn't get burned by the coffee. Really? I wanted to say that actually the heating pads that they have installed here makes a whole difference. I'm gonna get one at home. Take the ring in the The sun was finally shining upon us, and that's where you truly get to appreciate this paradise. With hundreds of banana trees and greenery all over the place, it's hard not to be left just a little bit speechless. We are so close to civilization, yet it feels so far away from it all, and that adds to the feeling of being an actual paradise. We mentioned earlier that Madeira isn't a tropical island, which is true, but the microclimate here makes it as tropical as it gets. It's funny that we humans have such poor memory when it comes to prioritizing being in nature. Jon and I say it every single time we go. Being in nature is our natural habitat, yet we pretend we are designed for soft sofas and endless Netflix shows. Look how wonderful and peaceful these creatures appear. Don't tell me they got it wrong and us humans got it right. Are they cold? I really love how we don't have to lock the door or anything here. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say that, it could go wrong. <laughs> yeah, on Madeira. Probably the safest island on planet Earth. This is my favorite spot in the entire paradise here. When it comes to moments I live for, this is it. When you say this, I think about your father. Men før tit, hvad er det, hvad lykke er? Ja. Og det har jeg fundet ud af, at lykke, det er sådan noget, der kan komme i komprimeret form, så den, hvor man siger, det kan fungere ikke meget bedre. Sådan har jeg det lige nu. Appreciating what you have and be grateful every day is something we're working on. It's very difficult, you know, because more once more always you know like when we just reached 100,000 subscribers we are already that's Lara's poop bag why is that here how like when we reach 100,000 subscribers like immediately we're like okay now it's a million uh, subscribers i've actually started meditating because the only way you can truly be grateful is if you are also in the present most of us we live in the future or the past and that's why we're all anxious and sad and depressed. I have my mentor and, and shaman, Carlos. The other day I, I, I was like, you know, I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling a little bit, you know, nervous. And he's like, yeah, but what about right now? And then when I was right now, I don't feel nervous. I'm on a roller coaster. And this is not authorized for humans. And meanwhile, I will take the stairs. So lush, I'm walking under a fern, guys. I love this part. This is like three minutes by car. You have a couple of good restaurants here. I think it's because you didn't buy enough groceries yesterday, is that it? It's a good excuse, honestly. But it's still like, it's not true paradise here, but it's pretty paradisial. As we got back, the three of us did a solo brainstorm before making the greatest sangria of all time. Well, kinda. I'm gonna take some marigold for the rock and roll. Lavender, you can use the flower of this one. Is this lavender? I don't know what I'm doing. This is not lavender. There we go. I don't know what the other thing was. Mint. These I'm sure of. We can eat these. It's no gonna doubt. be a Christopher McCandless edition. Welcome to the sangria show where we bet our life with flowers in our sangria. <laughs> if we don't post this video, you all know why when you find this footage. Can I just say that it is extremely warm. It's we so are nice. in the middle of February and it's like to the point where I have to find shade. This spot right here is the warmest place on Madeira Island. I'm gonna start pouring a lot of red wine because we're making a real sangria. This is just for show. Wow. Cheers. That's a good sangria, huh? That's a very good you sangria. You doubted me. No, I just doubted your botanical skills. Yeah, I, I doubted them as well. Actual paradise. 
Yeah. One of the concepts we struggle with in life is balance. It's very much either or. Either we go full vacation and self-indulgent mode or full focus work mode. It's like there's no in-between and we can't decide which mode is best. I mean, no one ever said on their deathbed that they wish they had worked more. In fact, most wish they spend more time with their family and loved ones. So shouldn't that be the priority above everything? Moments like these are what gives meaning to life. And if we actually lived in a place like this, we would likely never have to work as we have an endless supply of bananas, papayas and sacred water. What do you think? Just uh, did my first set. <laughs> um, and uh, we got a complaint from the neighbor. No kidding. Because you were screaming, you. Yeah. A one time love affair. It was probably a little bit awkward since nobody could hear what I was hearing. I burn for you, you burn for me. But uh, I didn't expect anyone to actually be around here. Anyway, go uh, follow my new uh, fake DJ site channel. What do you do in paradise other than just chill? What do you do in paradise, Amelia? Are we supposed yeah, yeah, I don't think, you know, this idea that we have to do all the time. No! I will quote Gandhi and say, Don't do, be, that's why it's called human beings. Wow. <sighs> Lana, do you like it? <laughs> I actually wish I could stay. We have one last mission and that is to go up to the top of this plot of land and we're going with Roberto who owns this place. It must have been so difficult to build this. It was, I mean, I'd, I was just so lucky to find a guy crazy enough to build it. <laughs> really? I should never have looked down and I'm not afraid of heights. Uh oh, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. It looks so incredible. Wow. Yeah, this is in, yeah, this is inside. The mango yard. It doesn't take much effort to appreciate this place, but you start to appreciate it even more when you understand the amount of work Roberto has put into it. He started out buying a small piece of land just to have a weekend barbecue spot with friends. But as his goats ate their way through the dense vegetation, he started to see the potential. And all this land was owned by many different people that he had to identify with the help of his parents. It had been abandoned for over 40 years, so it wasn't easy, but he eventually found the mall. It's an ever-expanding paradise you truly never want to leave. I mean, this was the best tasting tomato of my life. Oh my god, that's so good. And here's another natural pool. So yeah, we're grateful to live in the paradise of Madeira with a short drive to this actual paradise within. You, you, you.